Kim, what is our third main topic today? All right. This comes from Steve Calderon. Variety reports the HFPA failed to book any celebrity pre presenters for the 2022 Golden Globes this Sunday. Despite changes made from the HFPA, Hollywood still continues to boycott them. What is the point of moving forward with the event if none of the winners show up to accept the award? Are the Golden Globes officially done? All right. Thanks a lot for sending in that question, man. And yeah, look, a little bit of context. Just so there's no misunderstanding. <laughs> I have always thought the Golden Globes are a joke. I have always thought they are. Unlike, for those of you who've never heard me explain this before, unlike the Academy Awards, which are 7,000 plus members, all connected and involved in the film industry from actors, writers, directors, cinematographers, set designers, musicians, agents, executives, well, all people who work in the film industry or connected on a high level to the film industry, a member of a huge voter base, 7,000 plus voting members of the Academy Awards. The Golden Globes, at my last count, it's probably changed a little bit, but at my last count, 77 members who are film journalists who live in the United States but work for a foreign film publication or a foreign, foreign publication. I... Technically speaking, back in the day when I was doing the movie vlog, I technically qualified for the Hollywood Foreign Press. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, because I was Canadian, living in Los Angeles, but the movie blog was a Canadian thing. So anyway, not that they invited me to join. <laughs> by any you dramatically match. rejected that. What is the Marx Brothers uh, once said? I would never be a member of a club that would have somebody like me as a member. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so all that. And so like, to me, this has always been a joke. They've, they've always been considered the second most important awards. And to me, I have no idea why. However, they have always put on the best show. They, they, I mean, they put on a more entertaining show than the Oscars. Yeah. So that's fine. I mean, the Oscars are far more important, but the, the Golden Globes do put on a better show. A very entertaining, fun, laid back show. I've always enjoyed it. But the awards themselves are a joke. Now, the Hollywood Foreign Press, the people who put on the Golden Globes, they got themselves into some hot water for a couple of different reasons. One of the advantages of a 7,000 voter based member like the Academy Awards has is that you can't buy the awards then. You can't influence 25 people and have that make any difference in awards voting because the voting base is so big. Even if you took 100 people and gave them $10,000 each, that's a drop in the bucket of the voter base. It's not. It's probably not going to swing the vote either way. It's, it's, it's basically insulates itself from that kind of influence, right? Mm. The Hollywood Foreign Press, however, only being 77 voter members, you take 20 people on a Bahama cruise with the stars of the film for a weekend mm -hmm. and then give them $10,000 goodie bags, guess what? That's like 30% of the voting base. That's going to give you your wins. Plus, on top of that, everybody's known for years that the Hollywood Foreign Press nominates people based on who they think will they then come to their show. There's that one year they nominated the Johnny Depp. Um, Not well, the tourist. The tourist. Thank oh, you. Oh, God. They nominate the tourist, which is a terrible movie. They nominate tourists for best picture because that meant Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie, Angelina Jolie would be there. And they've done that every single year to the whole joke about their musical or comedy category, which means there's a popular movie we want to have represented, but we it doesn't actually deserve to be represented. Shove it into the hall. And they've nominated films in the, in the comedy and musical category before that have no business being comedies or musicals. But then with all those problems bubbling under the surface, and then there was that one, I think it's a Netflix show like. Emily in Paris. Emily in Paris. I was going to say was, Sarah in Paris. Yeah, it was ridiculous right? what they did. That, you know, it started getting all these nominations and all the film and TV so critics wrong. everywhere was like, wait a minute, how are you nominating Emily in Paris? Oh, because like 40 members of the Hollywood Foreign Press mm. were, the, were guests on set. And look, set visits are a normal thing in the business. There's nothing weird about a set visit. The set visits they got... We're not like what regular press get at set visits, okay? So they had these, This they were all flown out to Paris. They're all given golden kind of treatment for a couple of days and the expensive goodie bags and all that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, I've gone on set visits, but you're flying coach. You're in for about six hours. You get a cold buffet lunch. 
and then they pack you back on the coach again and fly you home. Like it's a different thing. But they had like 30, 40 members of the Hollywood Foreign Press. And then all of a sudden, this TV show that almost all television critics say is not that good got all the all the awards attention, right? But none of that was even the main problem. That was all the stuff bubbling under the surface that people like me have been complaining about for a long time. But everybody else just overlooked it. But then a report came out. I think it was the Hollywood Reporter that put out the report. It might have been Variety, so I, I, I could be corrected. That basically said, oh, yeah. You know that out of the 77 members of the Hollywood Foreign Press, not one black representative. Not one. And all of a sudden, then people took notice. Then people went like, wait, wait, what now? Look, I've said before, you got a group, you got a team of five people. Guess what? Maybe they will all be white. Maybe they will all be Asian. I mean, whatever. It's five people. It's not much. You got a team of 10 people and they're all the same. Well, then you start going, "Mm." you get a group of 77 and no representation out of 77. Like it, that, that goes beyond like that becomes clearly there is an agenda of exclusion. Once you get over 15, it's highly questionable. Once you get over 50, okay, look, there's clearly an agenda of exclusion here. There's clearly an agenda of exclusion. And then once people took notice of that, then everybody started poking holes at all the other stuff that we've been complaining about for years. And all of a sudden NBC drops the golden globes. They're not going to be carried. And then, you know, everybody else speaks out about them. So they they promise we're going to have make some changes. We're going to we're going to revisit who and how we get we add new members. And they did add new members and all that kind of stuff. But apparently too little too late because the Golden Globes, despite the fact that they were able to get Snoop Dogg to announce <laughs> the nominees with tick, tick, boom. And what they call what he called Ben Affleck again. <laughs> Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. (laughs) (laughs) Only Snoop Dogg can get away with that. He can do it and make it look cool. But, you know, so they announced the nominations. Well, apparently, according to a report in Variety, they have not been able to get anybody to agree to appear on the show to even be presenters. This comes to us again from Variety, who writes, There will be no celebrity presenters when the Hollywood Foreign Press Association announces this year's Golden Globe winners on January 9th. Variety has obtained a copy of an email from the Globe's talent booker that was sent to several publicity agencies inquiring about their clients participating in the show. However, sources say no celebs have agreed to take part. No details were provided about how the winners will be revealed or where the Globes will take place. If I'm not mistaken, I think it happens in like four days. Doesn't the Globes happen on the 9th? I could be wrong about that, but I think it happens on the 9th. On Sunday. Yeah, so it does. It happens on on Sunday. So no information about where they're being held, how they're presenting them. I don't know if any of the nominees are going to show up. So the question that our viewer brings up, are the Golden Globes done? It's a fair question because if you're already a questionable organization, and then the only thing that makes you look important is that all the celebrities show up to your stuff. And now none of the celebrities are showing up. Well, are you done? Hey guys, we want to take a second and thank the sponsor of this video, stamps.com. Now, whether you are a small business owner, have a side hustle selling stuff online, maybe you just like to share things back and forth with your friends. Good news, stamps.com is going to help you out a lot. Because if you're anything like me, there are many times in my life that I didn't send something to a friend of mine or I didn't want to sell something online simply because I didn't want the hassle and expense of having to ship stuff out. And for those of us here at the John Campion Show, stamps.com is going to be huge for us in 2022 because we've been doing more giveaways like shirts, you know, pops and other things. And we plan on doing a lot of that. And that's just wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for stamps.com. And for people like us, stamps.com is a godsend because it lets you print out official postage right from your computer so you can spend less time at the post office and more time running your business 
or sharing things with the people in your life. And Stamps.com doesn't just give you access to the U.S. Postal Service, it also works with UPS now right from your computer. And you can get discounts that you cannot get anywhere else, like up to 40% off the United States Postal Service rates and 76% off UPS. So right now, head on over to Stamps.com and go up to that microphone up in the corner, click on that and enter the promo code Campia, that's C-A-M-P-E-A. -E this will give you a special offer that includes a four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts required at all. And now, let's get back to the video. I would say this. I would love for them to be done. I've wanted that for years. I would love for the Golden Globes to be finished. But to be fair... I don't think they are done quite yet. I don't think they're done quite yet. This is their first year of trying to mount a show since all the, the tornado, if you will, mm -hmm. of controversy. Give them another year. Because listen, for all I, like maybe the Hollywood Forum Press over the next year will go, okay, look, we not only need to grow a little bit, we need to have minimum 400 voting members. We can't do it with 70 voting members anymore. We need to insulate from corrupting influences. We need a larger voting base. So let's really open it up. Let's invite more people to participate. Let's diversify the types of voices that we have in our room. Let's do this and let's work hard over the next year to really do that. If they do that, there is a chance, a chance that next year we may have another Golden Globes and this one might be a little bit attended. I, I don't know that it will, but I'm saying if they do that. No, I don't think they will. I don't think they're going to make any of those changes. I don't think they're going to do the things they need to do to repair their reputation, all that kind of stuff. I don't think it's going to happen. But is there a chance? I think there is. And if they do, Godspeed. If they do, God bless them. I, I think that would be great if they did. If they addressed a lot of those concerns, get, get rid of the stupid best musical or comedy uh, the get, martian yeah the, yeah that's right the martian was listed as a musical or totally, comedy it's totally should have won an award i don't care what award because that's my favorite movie of all best, time best matt damon movie of the year the martian he so, laughs he laughs by himself in a in a <laughs> rocket <laughs> i mean but yes, the martian was nominated as a musical or comedy come on so like if they looks if they spend this year fixing a lot of things i say god bless I, I think they can they can still turn this thing around. You're missing the whole point here, John. Uh oh. This could be the year. What year? That you get a Golden Globe <laughs> for movie trailers. A love, a love story. story. That's right. That's Tell them you'll be there. Tell them you'll be there. Listen, you'll get it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hollywood Foreign Press. <laughs> I know all these other pretend celebrities are saying they won't come to your show. Well, guess what? <laughs> the man, <laughs> the man will come to your show. You I will come, come to your show. Ray Orr will walk in front of me with a boombox announcing your my show. arrival. I will walk down your red carpet as empty as it is. And I will sit in that front stage as you announce best documentary, movie trailers, a love story. As you announce best drama, mu movie trailers, a love story. <laughs> as you comedy. announce best comedy or musical, movie trailers, a love story. We'll kick the p pigeons and tumbleweeds away. <laughs> we'll get through all the mess and we'll take that award. Right? And that's right. And suddenly I will lovingly caress your hair <laughs> and give you a hot injection of credibility yes hot injection. that's what I this, will is our do. Year. this is hot our this year this is the only year we could do this so there you go there's your out hollywood foreign press <laughs> there's your out i'm it that's how bad things have gotten i'm your lifeline <laughs> so i don't know uh kim what do you think about uh the current well, but in all honesty are the Globes done? Like, is, is this the last we're going to hear of the Golden Globes at this point? Or do you think that they could soldier on? What do you think? Personally, I think they're done. <laughs> wow. The comparison I make, honestly, I think when you move away from value and get into pay to play, um, it decreases the value of that award. Yeah, you know, there's a reason why, why, and I'm not saying this hasn't happened at the Globes, but there's a reason why at the Academy Awards, people are shaking and crying and I mean, you're seeing these stars just come undone because this is a prestigious 
Award. And I know this with our audience is kind of a, a weird analogy, but I used to do high-end weddings and events for like 13 years. So like the budgets I worked with were like mm, a million to two and a half million dollars. And some hotels, they were so exclusive, you had to prove yourself to be on their list to, right. yeah. for them to refer them to your brides. Because I've worked with Saudi Arabian royalty. I've worked with people to this day. I still cannot say that I worked on their wedding. Just the high end of the high end. It was insane. How was Kanye the amount of money. And, and Kim Kardashian's wedding? Because you clearly did that one, right? Were you there? You did. Oh, she's just smiling at me. That's not a good. I've sign. done. I've done a lot of things that I. The NDA still stands to this day. Got it. I can tell you, I did one of the housewives. I don't have an NDA for that. Um, but on that level, there started to become this trend of pay to play, where we would go into the St. Regis, we'd go into um, Waldorf Astoria, we'd go into certain venues and go, wait, why is this person who just started on this list, aka Emily in Paris, um, right. why is this person that hasn't had the time to prove themselves to be among these prestigious professionals here? Oh, they changed it. If you pay X amount of dollars, you can be on our exclusive list. Yeah. And that was BS because the brides didn't know the difference, aka us, the audience. <laughs> and so I, I feel like that will catch up to you when you are lacking in true value when your jewels are fake and someone bites down on them and the glass breaks they're going to notice that and i feel like that's what's happening here and i think it's really disgusting that um you know these awards mean a lot to people you know i know some people oh it's just a statue they mean a lot to people and the fact that you are even allowing yourself to be flown to paris if you had integrity you wouldn't do it if you had integrity, you'd say, you know what? Let me see the show. Let me see the film. Let me give my opinion and then let me vote based on that. You don't go to Paris and have this extravagant vacation and then all of a sudden, how uh, be transparent, have integrity. To me, they're just low in integrity and I have no time or respect for that. I'm not going to watch it like I have in the past now that I know the BS that they're um, they're they're operating in. And I hope it is over. I hope another um, award show that has some integrity will come up because I got to tell you, I do love Tina Fey and Amy Poehler on the oh, Golden Globes. I There's nothing more. The moments. So good. If you just watch a video of their moments, one comedy genius. But I love that they had a venue to display we are comedic improv geniuses, and yeah. here we go. I'll miss that. I really will. And Ricky Gervais. I really, when, Ricky Gervais, when Ricky just Gervais would host it and fools. stuff like that. Oh, my gosh. But you know what? I want to see someone else that is uh, organically diverse. Now, I was reading an article. They, they have, we have six new black members. We have six new black members. I would like to know, if nobody told you how starving you were for authenticity, would you have changed? Oh yeah, yeah. Did if, you did if you stop articles, cheating on your girlfriend because you felt bad or because or she you caught, got you? caught Yeah. <laughs> and so right now, I don't care if you make an African tribal king your new president <laughs> of your of your organization. It's not authentic. You have no organic integrity, and for that, I say a good day, sir. I, I would say I, I'll disagree with you on one thing: that I don't believe going on those trips is a lack of integrity. Like, for instance, I, I know there's another body called the 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 Critics' Choice, right? Um, with the uh, with the Critics' Organization. That's different from the Hollywood Foreign Press, right? And I know a lot of people on that. I, I've been invited to be on that one. I know a lot of people on that one. And there was a movie that was doing their press in Hawaii. And they flew everybody out there, and they gave them a great time, and all that kind of stuff. But here's the difference. Ain't none of them voted for that movie. They were able to go and say, hey, you you, you want to... It's a fam trip. Yeah, you, you want to go yeah. and highlight your picture us. You want to show off your movie to us. You want to give us some behind-the-scenes look and and sh let us see the place where it was shot. That's I'm all great. I'm fine with that. See, I think integrity is not about, did somebody invite you to a set visit? Integrity is, did you allow that set visit to influence if you voted for it or I not? I agree. And I'm, that, with Emily in Paris, that clearly got I agree. in the way. I'm fine with that. I mean, I, I feel like if, 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 if it's an exchange for... 
is what I mean. I'll clarify. If you're saying, look, if you look upon us favorably, yes, there's a we'd for tat. love to invite you. Uh, like, again, in the wedding industry, they called it, I think it was a fam trip where like a new resort opens and they would invite, you know, the wedding planners or the, the decision makers. Everything would be paid for. We'd have the best chefs. We'd have the best decor. And they basically want to showcase. But at the end of the day, if we're talking, me and the coordinators are saying, I really didn't like their service. I don't like how long it took for me to get a drink. I don't want my guests to go through that. I'll come on your trip, but if I don't have a good experience, I'm not going to bring my my clientele there. So I'm fine with that, but it's the understanding of now you do know if you get on this plane, we're going to expect yes, a little. Yes, once yeah, once that's, that's there. what I detest. Yeah, and and that's clearly Emily in Paris became kind of the match point that set it off that that's exactly what the Golden Globes have done. And you can miss me with that. Yeah. And uh and yeah, so anyway guys, Question is for you. Ain't nobody agreed to go and be a presenter at the Golden Globes this year, let alone host it. They don't have a host this year. Uh, do you think the Golden Globes are done or do you think there is still time for them to maybe make a course correction? Whatever you guys are thinking, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.